Hello viewers, I'm Private Dave. In this video I am in my M48 Patton, platooned with 360 Baron in his M48 Patton, and Border Dude on tour in his IS-8, or sorry not IS-8, uh, IS-7. The map is northwest, in case you didn't already know. Uh, I sure as hell didn't, so we learn things every day. Alright, so we are going into the top left corner, and hopefully gonna push into their base and kill shit because world tanks uh, if you don't kill shit you're uh, you're doing it wrong so there you go as we slowly make our way over there spot a uh, T-71 or rather the Indyne Panzer does fires misses somehow that T-71 is already damaged by the way just want to point that out so he most likely jumped off of something so in case you're watching the chat, Arlo is asking questions for people, and I'm not sure if he asked if that, uh, about an orgasm or an organism, um, so there's that. Great, uh, great questions. So our Indyne is struggling to kill a T-71 from the looks of it, which is always good. Kind of cautiously go out there and I decide, alright, I'll do it. And right at that moment, hey, STA-1. Don't get a shot at him, but I get to put one into the patent. Indyne finally kills the T-71. That's good. And just waiting for uh, 360 and border to get to the corner with me. And then we, uh, we'll probably push. Because it doesn't look like there's, there, you know, it doesn't really look like there's much there. Just a, uh... Patton, IS-3, and SCA-1, so should be an easy push around the corner, really. Okay, ready to uh, go around. Border kind of kind of going first, and you have a scout spotting as well, and suddenly there's a lot more than three. See, this is why you take things, uh, you know, one step at a time, being somewhat cautious. Not camping at the back, but you know, still kind of being cautious and all. Don't want to fly around that corner and get, you know, massacred or anything. At that point, I didn't see the E1, so I I didn't realize he could shoot me. But I'm gonna go up to where that T71 is and hopefully get shots into all the tanks lined up on that corner, really, because uh. No, I, I do enjoy doing damage. It's it's fun. Um, if you don't enjoy doing damage, there's something wrong with you, really. Got a good uh, good roll on the Centurion one. ISU 152. It is stock, however. He has the 122 and not the 152. And that would appear to be the um, the 122 from the SU 152. Mission. As you can tell by the gun mantle, I don't think the BL um, BL9 gets that. So I killed the ISU-152, doing all the damage to him. Now I'm gonna start to deal with the Centurion 1 and T-125. Take a hit there, and just kind of let Border and uh, 360 deal with the Patton and STA-1. Border has now killed the SCA-1, so I'll just continue dealing with these guys up here. Aim for the T-110's weak spot, kill him, and now it's just a Centurion. Now, for some reason, even though I've been shooting him, the Centurion decides to pop out and try a shooting Border, so I'm just going to kill him, and then we're going to push and just finish off this Patton, put him out of his misery. Get a nice shot there, a little above average, average roll. That should be a... Uh, uh, now the E1 is trying to flank us. I know he's fired two shots right there. So I'm going to go around because he only has like four rounds if I recall. Take one hit there. Not really going to worry about that. Put one into him instead of rushing my shot. And that should be his last shot and he's dead. And in case you're wondering about the long repair speed, um, that would be 
fact that I screwed up my crew a little bit, so I have to, you know, I, I had to sort that out after this game, uh, in case you can figure that out. So, 4k damage, and I have 3 kills, 360 has 2, and Border has 1. I'm gonna go help the, uh, the guys on our team over there now. Our SE-12254 is extremely angry for some reason as well, as you're gonna see in a moment. You're also gonna see me fuck up horribly. Because I've already used my repair kit, so, yeah. J just wait. So go in to help the SE-12254, try to keep him alive, and suddenly he dies. Now, what I should have done is backed off and waited, but I decided to put one into the Object 140, kind of go forward a bit for some reason, get tracked, and this is where it goes wrong. So he backs up before I can hit him there, alright. He's gonna go around the left side of the building, I'll aim there. Never should have taken that. I hit the pillar, and then he puts one into me. Tracks me again, so I'm, I'm kinda fucked at this point. I'll put one more into him, but I'm, I'm dead. So. 5,165 damage for me. And uh, now it's up to my teammates. Uh, switch to order, and then 360 kills the uh, object. And this is a win. So, not a bad game. Not a bad game at all. I have 3 kills, 5,000 damage. And 360 has 3 kills as well. On to the after battle result. Alright, so it was a second class mastery badge. High caliber. And moving on. Most damage, 5,165. Followed by 360 Baron with 3,158. Border not really having the best game. He more more or less just tanked damage for us. Uh, got 2,000 damage pretty much. Uh, second highest experience behind the Indyne, because it was a tier 10 game. He was shooting higher tiers, so he got a bonus there. Uh, I had 922, 360 had 895, and Border had 781. As you can see, he took 11 hits. Five of those penetrated, six non-penetrations, and damage blocked, all that good stuff. Fired 16 shots, 14 of those were direct hits, 14 penetrated, that's a good thing. You want to generally penetrate the shots that you hit, otherwise there's no really point in hitting them, in my opinion. I took 12 hits, 8 of those penetrated, 4 of those did not, 1,240 damage blocked by armor. I spotted one enemy, damaged 6, destroyed 3, and 119 assistance, no idea where that came from. Pretty good travel uh, distance. And I made a profit of 25,482 and 3,042 experience on a, uh, a double. So, not a bad game. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And thank you for watching.